After a busy weekend mixed with rain, sleet and snow, road crews have been out nonstop since Saturday. Uh, Josh Peterson shows us what remains to be done in the aftermath of the Christmas storm. While many of us were with family and friends gathered around a Christmas tree, MnDOT snow fighters were out in full force. Since Saturday, it's been all hands on deck, pre-treating before the storm hit, maintaining the roads during, and now clearing the roads before the next storm system hits. We're roughly up to like 20 to 22 plows, so probably I think 18 of them were out in the area yesterday. For the Beltrami County Emergency Management Office, no major incidents occurred over the holiday weekend. We had uh, some spin outs and, and some people that uh, uh, left the roadway and some other vehicles that uh, hit each other. Um, nothing uh, too out of the ordinary for your, your typical storm. For MnDOT, it being a holiday weekend actually made it easier for the snow plows to treat the roadways and remove all the snow. So with the holidays, there are less people out on the roads. And when there's less cars on the road, uh, snow plows have more room to maneuver, so more room to work, but also it's less compaction. So the snow that does fall doesn't get compacted to that road surface. Even though the storm has passed, there's still plenty of work that needs to be done. Currently in both the Bemidji and Brainerd areas, most of the roadways are classified as partially covered with snow. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And if you are planning on traveling anywhere this week, MnDOT recommends checking their website for current road conditions. We have posted a link on our website at lptv.org slash news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.